my name is Quinzen and I'm a non-binary photographer from England. Yay, why am I doing this? So what I basically wanted to do today was to break down the what I do to make my photographs and I will I'll, I'll show you them now in case you wanted to embrace my mediocrity. Yay. <laughs> So yeah, I primarily do like portrait stuff, a lot of like, yeah, pretty much 80% portraits, so I will just begin with all that kind of stuff. I should also, yes, I forgot something, but yeah, I should probably also mention that I am in no way a professional, I am definitely an amateur, so take everything I say with a grain of salt because um, I have, this is all entirely self-taught and some of this could be complete bullshit so i should start with the planning phase because that's the first thing you do why am i moving my hands like this first thing yeah i like movies why am i saying this why because i often take inspiration from movies I like, a whole sort of like aesthetic, I like outfits, I just love, I take everything, I like, I just love movies, so American Graffiti, Columbus, Eyes Wide Shirt, um, Sing Street, you sort of watch that, but yeah, I just, I, yeah, movies, and for the next little segment, I guess we'll go, go for that, the whole shoot itself. Bet you didn't guess that. So when I'm like creating, or well, when I'm like when creating, when I'm like composing a shot, I often like to like shoot from really high or low angles because I just find that shooting flat on, like dead on to something or someone, is often just quite boring and not very dramatic and dynamic and all the I'm it. And ee, what does my note say? It creates more depth. That's another thing I work down there. Yeah, it helps create depth. It makes people look bigger and more powerful and just more like if you shoot them like down up and with like a wide angle because I really like I like wide angle lenses as well. But like yeah. I it makes, makes people look really big and really like tall and really like it so sort of like it hypes them up. It's like a little hype man, a little like hype machine. There, a camera. I'm also well with like lighting and all that kind of jazzy jazz. I quite like sort of like motivated lighting. I guess. And yeah, I like quite motivated lighting. I like sort of like because well, I don't particularly like shooting in a studio because well i this, this is definitely just a me thing but like often i'll yeah because they are shot in a studio i'm like hyper aware that i'm looking at a photograph as opposed to like when i see a shot from an actual like location i buy into like that sort of like world that the photo is like setting up if like like that if that makes sense like I guess this follows on from the fact that, yeah, because I often will borrow from movies and I like, in movies, you suspend your disbelief and you have to like buy into that world. I don't know, I just find that more interesting when looking at a photo. So I don't know, I just try to like create that effect and there's sirens going off and I feel like I've just gone on a massive tangent. But I was talking about lighting. I like a lot of lamps, a lot of like, street lights a lot of like neon signs and like windows and stuff i was like even sunlight something that's like tangible in the setting of the photo i don't know if that made sense or not but i'm just gonna keep talking because <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing my there yeah, editing what did i put for editing i don't remember oh wait listen in camera i will often shoot quite dark because if you shoot dark with like shadows and stuff like that and then shoot in raw so r-a-w like that format 
then you just get a lot more detail in the shadows and then you can lift all the blacks up and you have all the detail it loses noise like a lot less and yeah so i often that's why i shoot dark because it just gives me a lot more to play with in sort of like the photo <laughs> yeah because i've had quite there <laughs> And then with my like skin tones and like all that kind of stuff, I like kind of like a naturalistic sort of like look. I don't know, it's like sort of like, I will often lean into like reds and like oranges and like greens because those are like more earthly and sort of like they are more quite complementary to like actual skin tones. So like, yeah, I don't know, yeah, I like sort of like poppy colours but also sort of like realistic I guess I don't know that makes no sense it feels like a contradiction but it is what's in my brain that's my video I have that's how as a basics as to what I do with my photos and how I sort of like get them to be where they're kind of at I hope this was like somewhat like coherent because I feel like it wasn't but Maybe when I edit this, it kind of makes sense. Let's hope for that. So please like, subscribe, do all that sort of like cool stuff. Follow me on Instagram. I'm on Instagram. It's over, I'm on Twitter as well. Follow me there. I have some shit memes that I can share with you. <laughs> so yeah, and I'll see you guys with something else soon, probably. Bye. What was that by?